breaking news, running back Philip Lindsay has said, I am just not interested in signing with you to us and has even demanded a trade. He said he does not care which team he goes to as long as he gets out of Denver as he feels he has been mistreated. This leaves some big questions for the Denver Broncos. Will they be able to find a trade partner and will they be able to find a backup running back? So there you have it. Philip Lindsay has finally announced that he wants to leave. The Denver Broncos have added him to the trade block and are looking at possible trade partners over the, this week. He will have one last game with us against the New England Patriots. However, he probably will not be playing as we do not want him to get injured and not be able to trade him. We do have a breakout player for this game in Cortland Sutton. Let's see what we have to do. I'm disappointed, coach. I had one of the best games of the season last week and we lost. I couldn't carry us to victory, but that's about to change. I got some pretty good passes thrown my way last week. You give me another handful of those and I promise you I'll make some plays. For real, somebody warned those DBs in New England. I'm about to make my case as the best receiver in the NFL. So we have to get Cortland Sutton four plus touchdowns or 200 plus rushing and passing yards. We're going to try. I'm going to be force feeding him and hopefully we can get him an X factor. As we get ready to take field against the New England Patriots, we are prepared for their defense. They have the 99 overall shut down corner, Stephon Gilmore with acrobat and pick artist. They also have a free safety, Devin McCourty, who is the high, one of the highest overall safeties in the game with zone hawk. Also has pick artist and unfakeable. And last but not least, they have superstar wide receiver Julian Edelman, former Super Bowl MVP with slot-o-matic and mid in elite. We're going to look to get Cortland Sutton some points here against this cornerback. It's going to be tough, but let's get into it. Here we are in Foxborough, looking to face off against the New England Patriots and Cam Newton, a 3 and one team. Looks like we're going to be kicking the ball off to them. It's a nice day out in New England, a little bit overcast, but looks like it's going to be a nice day to play some football. Hopefully we can get a win. We're on a two-game slide after going 2-0. and Let's check out Cam Newton. It's going to be weird to see him in a New England Patriot, but we know the perfect build for a quarterback, nice and tall. A little bit of a crybaby at times, but, you know, hey, he's got eight touchdowns, three picks on the season, and a 66% completion percentage. Looks good for him. Let's play some defense. Facing an early third down here are the New England Patriots. We're going to see Suggs gets the bull rush. Oh, he drops the pass. Luckily, after Von Miller blew the coverage, and Terrell Suggs was about two feet away from getting a sack. Easy stops, only a minute drive from the Patriots, and we're going to get ball and hopefully get Cortland Sutton some yards. Cortland Sutton putting in work against... Stephon Gilmore, almost forgot his name, but it's looked good. He's already gotten two receptions, and uh, we're just trying to continue to get him some yards while not throwing dangerous passes, and it's working so far, so let's keep doing it. Cortland Sutton's actually wide open. I mean, if he's that open, I'm going to throw it to him. He got down to the two-yard line. Cortland Sutton's got all 56 receiving yards. He's got 60, actually. Um, I think I I might just put him on a drag here. He can get he can get on the inside on Gilmore, yeah, on Stephon Gilmore, yes sir. Cortland Sutton is here to put on a show today. Quick third and nine. The defense is showing up today. We're looking like we might be able to get another stop here. Oh, almost intercepted by Todd Davis, I believe that was, and we forced another fourth down. We have more incompletions in this game than we did against Tom Brady the whole game, and it's only the first quarter. Two three and outs for the Patriots. KJ Hamler kind of getting an outside there. Down to the 41. Let's have Cortland Sutton keep going beast mode. I might be crazy, but I think Cortland Sutton doesn't have a man on him. Ah, uh, he kind of does. Wait, no, he doesn't. That's Cortland Sutton all day. Huge pass. Cortland Sutton's already up to about 100 yards almost. I'll tell you what, the weather seems like it actually works in this game. Like it was overcast when we got here. It started clearing up very early on, and and now it looks pretty clear. 
Should have Jerry Judy, and that should be a touchdown. Easy touchdown. 14-0 to start this game. Oh, big run for James White there. Breaks it off, and they're off to a better start this drive. Look at this all-out blitz here. And it's a pass. Oh, I missed the tackle. That's my fault, 100%. I went for a big hit, and I missed it. Asiasi with the touchdown. 14-7. Second and one, we're going to run the QB draw. Get a good bit of eight yards. I like KJ Hamler on this play. I also like Jerry Judy. Oh, looks like a bit of a blitz. Ah, I wasn't ready for it. Third and 22. It's not looking good, but KJ Hamler gets some space, and Drew Locke misses the throw. That could have been a first down. Unfortunate. Hey, we'll give him some slack. He's still looking at 75% completion percentage, and we should have a nice and easy field goal with 7 mile per hour wins at our back. McManus, who we're working on resigning, kicks the ball and kicks it through. Nice kick. Up 10. Oh, that's an absolute dime. Oh, he doesn't get in, though. Come on, Sutton. You're faster than that. It's a big play there for the Broncos. 45 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. And try to punch it in Melvin Gordon. Doesn't look good. Did he get in? He did. Melvin Gordon finally back in the end zone after a couple games. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Broncos push further out. Let's go, baby. Justin Simmons in there for the sack. Huge play by the fifth highest paid safety in the league. Looks like a first and goal. I really don't like this play, but I'm not interested in using a timeout. I'm going to try to man up both these guys. It's a run. And we get the stuff. Good call. Negative three yard gain. And now we just got to sit here and make sure that they don't get in. It looks like a possible another run. That would be my guess, unless it's it's a play action. Oh, no, it's not. That looked 100% like a play action. Touchdown, Sonny Michelle. Looking at a third and six here. We get Sutton on a drag. He's faster than Stefan this time. How many yards does Sutton have? Like 150 almost? Is he going to show us? 167. He's getting this X Factor, whether we win or not. After a pretty big sack, we're looking at a third and 16. Probably not going to get this unless Cortland Sutton gets it. Oh, get up. Get up. Okay, we got it, though. That was a dangerous throw, but it worked. We're going to call a timeout. And Cortland Sutton needs 16 more yards for an X Factor. I might throw it to Fant here instead of the screen flat pass. Nah, I'll throw it to Fant. I mean, I'll throw it to Melvin Gordon. Stiff arm. Doesn't get in. Down to the four. We're going to run the hurry up because I kind of want to... Kind of want to um, not waste some time, you know? Uh, we can run it in with Locke. Yes. 31 to 14. I did have to take a break in between this episode, which is why, um, I don't know if you guys noticed anything different, like maybe our jerseys changed or something, I don't know. I had to go eat dinner, and so I exited out, turned off my Xbox, gave it about a two-hour break, and I'm back here. Uh, but hopefully everything, it, hopefully it wasn't like some weird change in your guys' eyes. I know that happens sometimes, and uh, I'm sorry about that, but I try not to take breaks when I'm recording these. But I had to today. Four seconds left in the second half. We'll just sit here. I'm pretty sure they're just going to QB kneel it. As we're up 17 in the first half. Yeah, it's a QB kneel. Drew Locke, this is his breakout game, it seems. His biggest game of the year. Cam Newton's going to take a knee, and that's going to do it for the second half. 
Second half, I'm going to focus a little bit more on Melvin Gordon. He's been having a good game. I want to get him some more handoffs. And I was just focused on Sutton, man. I needed him to get that 200 yards, and he finally got it. So, huge play. There you guys have it. 239 passing yards and one takeaway. No picks yet for Drew Locke. Looks like it's just muscle cramps. We're going to keep him in and run a screen here on 38. See if we can maybe get the first down. Looks like a good setup. Once again, misses it, but Melvin Gordon reaches, and I believe that's a first down. Good play by Melvin Gordon there. Third and six. I don't want to run the slants cheese. We're going to throw to Hamler. Gets hit as he throws. That might be rough in the passer. Possibly. An eligible receiver downfield. How the hell do you do that? Okay, well, they're going to decline this, and we're going to have to punt. Uh, we don't really ever punt. I just realized that. So, hopefully this is good. I don't know. I used to be a pretty good punter. Oh, geez. Almost got blocked. Yeah, it was a terrible punt. Almost got blocked, though. We give him back the ball. Up 17. Sack there by Johnson as Cam Newton tries to get out of the pocket and scramble. As we force third and seven. I'm going to try to play Callahan here. I feel like they're going to try to go on this right side. I'm not going to let it happen. Oh, it's a screen. But it's blown up by Todd Davis. And we force him to a field goal. Going to keep the 14-point lead. Oh, it's a punt. Apparently, they can't kick a field goal from here. I guess they are into seven mile power wins. That makes sense. 57 yard field goal with that big of wind. They probably wouldn't make it. Huge play for us. What do we say, Sutton? Nothing. PI? There's no way we get a PI call on that. We do. Wow. That's the worst call they have ever made on Devin McCourty. Terrible call. Melvin Gordon by the shoe strings on his shoes gets brought down. That was almost a big game, a big touchdown. We might have Jerry Judy across the middle here if the linebackers bite down. They do. A little bit slow of a cut, but we get a PI again. It's kind of ridiculous. We're getting the cheesy calls now. Hey, Tom Brady leaves, and all of a sudden, the, uh, the Patriots stop, start getting some booty calls on him. Kind of mad sus. Oh, terrible running play by me. Four-yard line, second and goal. We could put it in. We could put it in. Let's see. FL drive. Sutton might be open here. Oh, I almost just threw a pick to him. What the hell? What? Jawan James, who was injured earlier on in the game, gets injured again after I told them to bench him. All right, listen, Jerry Judy, hit him this time. Oh, okay, he hit him. He just dropped the pass. I mean, unfortunately, we're not able to punch it in, but maybe we'll be able to get the field goal. And we do. Go up 20 in the third quarter. Two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Whoa, 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 whoa. You get a fumble. I think he was down. I was I unpaused my Netflix show and I saw a red bar flash up and Yeah, it looks like it's gonna get overturned, but damn. So we just got a sack. I can't show you because I had music playing in the background. But we get a sack, and Cam Newton got hurt on it. So they got Stidham in here. I don't know how serious it is. But we're just going to bring the pressure and see if we can get some pressure on Stidham and force him to make a bad throw or just a Stidham throw, you know? Oh, almost throws a pick. Let's see it, Stidham. <laughs> I can't believe this is going to be the Patriots starter, man. That would have been a sight for sore eyes. Bop, bodied him. First down, though. 
Oh. Now we really force a fumble. And it looks like it's going to be a fumble recover for a touchdown. My man said, I need to get my swag right there. That's a touchdown. It looks like we're going to run away with the victory in this game. Third and 15. This will be third and 15. And that's an incomplete pass. Fourth and 15, this game's over there. I'm sure they're just going to punt it. I doubt they want their backup quarterback getting hit. I guess they're not going to punt it. On fourth and 15, I mean, desperation time. They're taking that to a whole new level. I'm going to get Von Miller out here right now before they throw a little flat and screw me up. But this should be a pick. Ah, we do not get it. However, we do get the turnover on downs. All right, well, we get a handoff to Philip Lindsay, and he gets into the end zone. Just kind of raising his draft stock, I guess. I don't know. I didn't want him to be in there, but they put him in there, so another touchdown for the Broncos. There it is, the touchdown that they were going to get. That's going to be the game, though. A good win for us on a good bounce-back week, man. We really needed this win, and... We came through and we showed our dominance against a team that was 3-1, and one, so can't be much happier than that. So there we go. The Denver Broncos moved to 3-2 on the season. Cortland Sutton should be coming X-Factor after today's game. If unless, I, unless it was 250 yards and I got it wrong, then we're about 10 yards short. But we did everything right. No interceptions for Drew Locke, finally. We had a defensive touchdown and everything. We'll look at the... The actual stats here as Drew Locke, 114 passer rating, 20 of 32, 300 yards, two touchdowns and no picks. The best game of his season. Melvin Gordon had 19 rushes for 115 yards and a touchdown. Huge, huge game from him. Corlin Sutton, 12 receptions, 224 yards and a touchdown. Jerry Judy, four receptions, 51 yards and a touchdown. Melvin Gordon, three, eight, and zero. DeMar Dotson gave up the only sack of the day. Todd Davis led us in tackles along with Justin Simmons with eight. One TFL from Phillips, just got back. One TFL from Miller and one TFL from Davis. Only two sacks, only four sacks actually. Justin Simmons had one, Johnson had one, Chubb had one, and Todd Davis had one. Um, I did not check the pass deflections. We had one from Callahan, one from Davis, one from Kareem Jackson, and I don't believe we had any interceptions. No, we did not. So, yeah, that's going to do it. We're going to get back and check the trade offers and ship Philip Lindsay out. AJ Bouye got an upgrade. Going to get him up to a 85 overall into the dark green. AJ Bouye still still got a little a couple, a couple years left ahead of him. That's probably the highest overall he's going to get to for us. But, nonetheless, a big play. Let's talk to Cortland Sutton and see what he has to say. What did I tell you, coach? Nobody in this league can do the things that I do, and I think I made that clear today. How does it feel to have one of the best receivers in the NFL on your roster? It feels great. Cortland Sutton is now a superstar X-Factor, and he can use his own ability. That's a superstar fa X, uh, superstar ability, which is not correct. But we're in advance of the week, and uh, we'll check the offers. We'll check what superstar X-Factor Cortland Sutton got. Oh, we got another breakout player. We don't know who it's for yet, though. Let's upgrade. Kirtland Sutton, I'm sure, has one. Looks like he has two. And then we'll also upgrade Jerry Judy. I'm going to continue to get Cortland Sutton his um, his physical upgrades. And it looks like he has, I think it's called a Wrecking Ball. Which I don't remember exactly what it does. Yeah, so it's called the Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball runners don't avoid contact. They create it. When they enter the zone, this ability increases their success rate on the next three trucks or stiff arms. Make 10 yards, 10 plus yards receptions. So that's more like a running back ability, but it's actually pretty good. Three trucks or stiff arms. That means that if we can get him to 10 plus yard receptions, which is pretty common, um, he'll be able to just start bowling over people, and then that's huge for the team. So something you got to love seeing there. Jerry Judy also has another upgrade. We will work on his deep threat ability. He's almost up to an 80 overall rookie. He's probably going to win Rookie of the Year with the season he's having. Um, and then we'll just quick upgrade these guys. Covington we should probably look into, but we're not going to. Um, it looks like we don't have any trade offers for Philip Lindsay, so I'm going to cook up a trade, and uh, we'll see what we could do.
we looked at a couple of teams. We looked at the Washington football team. They wanted a lot, though. Um, essentially, we just shipped them out for a third-round pick from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They needed a running back. LaShawn McCoy was their starter. Nothing too big there. Um, we took a third-round pick. I feel like that's good good value for such a young player on a contract year. Um, so, yeah, I feel like this is a pretty realistic trade. Given getting a third-round pick for a player that's pretty good, we probably could have got a second out of Madden because, you know, it's Madden and not all trades make sense. But I want to keep it semi-realistic. We'll take a third-round draft pick and uh, keep adding to this young Broncos team. So there you have it. That is going to do it for today's episode. As we finish out tied for first in our division at 3-2 and two with everyone else pretty much. Um, the team is looking good. If we go here to stats, I kind of want to check out the team stats to close everything out. Drew Locke not having a bad year. Nine picks is a little bit much to 11 touchdowns. Um, rushing here, we got Melvin Gordon at 401 yards, four touchdowns. Cortland Sutton is already up to 500 yards on the year with five touchdowns. Same as Jerry Judy, who has 300 yards and five touchdowns. So everything's looking good. If we go back in here and look at the whole NFL, let's see where some of our players stack up against, against everyone else here. Um, looks like... Drew Locke is probably in about the 15, 15 around there. So in passing, receiving is really where I want to see. Rushing, we have Melvin Gordon in the top five almost. Pretty close to number one in Ezekiel Elliott, my team's running back. And receiving, Cortland Sutton leads the league in receiving with uh, barely, but he does. And then that means that Jerry Judy isn't far behind. So everything's looking good defensively. Uh, if we look at sacks here, where's Von Miller at in the sacks? Uh, I mean, I guess Von Miller's not really having that big of a year, but it, it's not looking too terrible. Two interceptions leads the league, and I don't think we have a two-interception player. So, yeah, everything looks good so far. We can't check weekly awards, but this is what they are if you guys are curious. We haven't won a weekly award or anything like that. But, yeah, that is going to do it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry, Philip Lindsay had to go. He said he did not want to sign. We had to get rid of him. Getting that pick is a huge thing. And because we did that, I forgot, and I don't want to forget before next episode, I was looking at running backs that we could pick up to take his place in the backup role. And I think Justin Jackson of the Chicago Bears practice squad is the team, is the player to do that. So we're going to pick him up, and he's going to come in and be the backup running back for our Denver Broncos franchise. So yeah, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, please hit the like button down below. Let me know that you guys are enjoying the series just as much as I am. Corlin Sutton got an X-Factor Day, huge play. I will see you guys all in tomorrow's episode. Peace out.